All right, Adriana, scary moments in Tustin, where a search for a gunman forced seven schools into lockdown. People in the neighborhood were also told to stay inside their homes. It all started this morning when someone reported seeing a man possibly carrying a sawed-off shotgun. Police swarmed the area near Nissan Road and Red Hill Avenue. Heavily armed officers locked down schools, homes, and businesses. KCAL 9's Tom Waite joins us live with how they eventually took the suspect down. Tom. And Sylvia, as you said, very frightening moments out here for thousands of residents as their homes were locked down. They got this suspect because of a lot of reinforcements that came here to Tustin. What they didn't find here, though, was the suspect's gun. It looked and sounded like a combat zone in front of a Tustin grocery store today. A chopper landed just a few yards from Stater Brothers, loaded up with the SWAT team, and then went off in search of an armed suspect. I'm staying in contact with her, just trying to get into the house. Munawar Rangunwala has an apartment with his wife where police were searching for the suspect. Rangunwala says his wife was told to stay inside and lock her doors. This is her first experience with something like this. Obviously, she's just freaked out. You know, she got a call from the neighbors to stay indoors, and I've been telling her to, you know, stay for, away from doors and windows as well. The frenzied search for 20 year old Henry Herrera started when a patrol officer saw Herrera on the street with a gun. The officer confronted the suspect, shots were fired, and then Herrera took off. From the air, Law enforcement was able to track him down. He was found running uh, in a nearby complex. He was observed. We had, as you can see, the helicopters up above, and we had tactical teams on the ground, and they were able to pinpoint his location and take him into custody. During the search, as a precaution, nearby schools were put on lockdown. Relieved parents were finally able to pick up their kids this afternoon. All of this ended just as school was letting out. I was really nervous for him because his, his street where he lives is actually closed down. His mom couldn't leave. At this point, police are not saying who fired the shots, but no one was injured. If this suspect had some sort of agenda with the gun, we don't know it yet. Reporting live in Tustin, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.